Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. I'm going to talk about this new altimeter that we're carrying here at Apogee Component called the RRC3 dual deployment altimeter. And this RR stands for Rocket Retro Recovery Controller. And this is the third edition of it. Uh, it is dual deployment. So what dual deployment means is that it controls when the parachutes come out of the rocket. And it does this by firing off additional ejection charges called pyro channels. Uh, this one, uh, dual deployment is typically you deploy a small parachute at apogee so that the rocket really falls fast and it doesn't drift so far with the wind. And then when it gets closer to the ground, then it fires off another ejection charge which pushes, pushes out a larger parachute called the main parachute, which slows the rocket down so it lands nice and gently. This is a little bit bigger than some of our other dual deployment altimeters but it does have some other features. Uh, namely, this one has a third pyro channel, um, which is right here. In this third pyro channel, what most people will use it for is for staging. So if you want to stage a rocket, a composite comp propellant rocket, you're going to need to fire off uh, a, 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 another igniter to light the upper stage motor. Um, Typically, the way these work is you'll plug in uh, your battery and a switch on one side, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, I've had several people ask me how you hook things up. So this here, we have a, a simple push button switch, and I got two wires coming off of it. And you can get these at Apogee Components. This is one of them that we sell. Um, and then you just take a small screwdriver, and this is called a terminal block, and you plug the wires into the side. I don't know if you can see that here, but here's the, the side. Um, this one is labeled switch, and this one is labeled battery, and on the battery it's polarity sensitive, so you have a positive and negative, and you need to get those correct. The switch, it doesn't matter. So you plug that in, twist it down, plug another one in. Twist it down. So here is my uh, 9 volt battery connector. And you can use a 9 volt battery or you could use the LiPo batteries that we sell at Apogee Components. Um, they do work. Uh, even though the LiPo is 3.5 or 3.7 volts, it will work with this because this is rated all the way down to 3.5 volts. So you're going to mount this on a board inside of your rocket. And that's what these holes here on the edges are for, to mount it down. If you need uh, mounting hardware, you can come to us at Apogee Components. We do have that. And then on your other side, you'd have your main parachute and your drogue parachute deployment charges. Now, these are also polarity sensitive. And the reason is you can have an external battery that hooks up in series with these charges to ignite off just the igniters for the deployment charges. So that's why they're, they're labeled positive and negative. Uh, but if you're, you're just using the main battery to do it, um, it doesn't matter which, which terminal these go into. So here's, uh, I'm using Q2G2s on this. this uh, these are they're low current igniters. They work really well. And then um, right here is our auxiliary terminal block. And this is where you would hook up for staging. So you would, you would hook in another igniter with longer wires, of course, to hook that up. So you can see hookup is pretty easy. You're not going to have any problems with that. Um, then you hook up your battery. And I'll just connect this up. And right now it's not turned on, but when you'll turn it on, I'll just press the switch and you'll hear it. And one of the nice features about this altimeter is not only does it have the beeper to let you know that it's working, but it also has an LED. So you get a visual and an auditory signal that everything is working. 
and right now it's going through its startup mode. It's testing the air to make sure, you know, it's at ground level. Um, a thing about the beeper is that it's at a lower frequency than other beepers. So if you're flying multiple altimeters on your rocket for um, redundancy, you can tell the difference because this one has a lower frequency. It's also very loud. It's 85 decibels. And uh, it gets annoying really quick if you're doing it inside of a building like I'm doing it here. So I'm just going to turn it off real quick and show you some of the other things on here. Um, you'll notice it has three different plugins, um, and that's for things that you can add to the, uh, to the board. This top one is for an LCD screen so that you can configure all the parameters like when ma the main parachute's going to deploy, when the staging is to occur uh, by plugging into the, that first one. The second one is to plug in a USB connector um, and this is to connect it to your directly to your computer so you can do those same things but using your computer. And then the third one is an auxiliary board or an auxiliary socket and according to MissileWorks there's some other uh, boards that you can plug into this. We don't have them here at Apogee yet. Uh, when MissileWorks gets them hopefully we'll, we'll add them to our line. Um, and then over here in this column right here is a series of dip switches. There's four dip switches. They're really tiny. I don't know if you can see them, but you can take a screwdriver and you can slide them into the on. This is on side. You can see it says on. It's really tiny, but it says on, or you can slide them off. And then there's also a button here that um, controls, it tells the board that you're going to configure things. So if I turn it on, and if I wait for it to go through its cycle, um, it's also going to tell me how many igniters are hooked up. So it, it, wait, it will wait for 10 seconds while it's sampling the air, and then it will tell me how many igniters are hooked up. So right now it's, it's, it's telling me that there's two igniters hooked up, main and drogue. They're both working just fine. Um, if I disconnect them, you'll hear the difference in the beeps. I'll just disconnect one. And you can um, do this while the board is powered up, which is kind of a nice little feature. So I'll connect that up again and then you'll hear the difference. So you now I got three instead of one. <clears throat> um, to program it, um, you use that little switch and the little dip switches. So right now, by default, it's set to deploy the main parachute at 500 feet. So as the rocket comes down, when it hits the 500 foot level, it's going to fire off that ejection charge, which um, will push the uh, main parachute out. Um, I can control that by using the first dip switch. And I put that into the on position. And then I turn it on. And while it's going through its cycle, push that the little button right there, this little button. And now it's telling me the main parachute that was five beeps. So let's hear it again. Okay, and if I want to change it to something else, I just push the, the other button. So I did six times. And now let's hear it. Two, three, four, five, six. So now it's six, set for 600 feet in altitude. So it's really easy to program. Um, you, with the, the dip switches, you can control uh, the main and the drogue. Um, there's other things that you can um, tell it to do. Uh, you can do, set the piezo tone. You can raise the piezo tone from a low tone to a higher tone. Um, you can set a drogue delay. So again, if you're using this for redundancy, and this is the redundant altimeter, you can set the drogue to fire um, after it passes Apogee. So as the rocket's coming down, um, then it would fire not at the peak altitude. And the reason for this is so you don't fire off two ejection charges at the exact same instant because you could overpressurize your rocket. Um, so there's eight things you can do um, with the dip switches. Um, if you want to control the staging, that is where you do need to either hook it up to the LCD controller 
or to the USB connector that connects to your computer. So that is where you're going to want to get the USB or that LCD screen. Uh, but if you're just doing a dual deployment, um, you can just use the dip switches and it's just fine. Um, so this is the uh, MissileWorks RRC3. Um, my name again is Tim Van Milligan, and you can get this at Apogee Components. Our website is www.apogeerockets.com.